With its dreamlike fairy tale forests and magical glowing lanterns, Team Lab Botanical Garden is a must see attraction in Osaka, so let's explore it together. Ikimasho! Mina san, hisashiburu ne? Uh, we've just arrived at Team Lab Botanical Garden in Osaka, so we're just going to give you our first impressions of the experience that we had. Yeah, it was so good, man. Like, overall, there was loads to enjoy, and we went when it was in the evening as well. Mm hmm. Oh, I think you can only go in the evening because it's, that's how you see the lights the best. First of all, it instantly hits you like this calming soundscape around you. It reminds me of yoga music in a way. Do you oh, know what I mean? Yeah, 100%. It's so relaxing. He's laughing at me because I called it a calming soundscape. <laughs> a sound Soundscape. But it is, it is. It's really zen and like really beautiful. It's so relaxing. It really goes well with the whole vibe that they're trying to create as well. Yeah. So you make your way through the forest and you see these like illuminated alien looking eggs, like something out of a sci fi movie. Yeah, it's really cool. It's, it just makes you want to touch them. Well, I think they move, like they like wobble a bit. I was a bit mm. apprehensive, like whether you're meant to move them, but you can. You're more than welcome to nudge them. It reminds me of like a Ghibli movie. Do you know the little Kodama spirits in like Princess Mon Mononoke? They're just really cute. So as you can see, it's just really like ethereal and fairy-like aesthetic to it. It's just really calming and really peaceful. Yeah, you feel like you're in a kind of fantasy forest. Mm, yeah, it's yeah. It's the best way, best way I can think yeah. to describe it. it. There is a sense of like surrealism yeah. it's about like you're it. you're in a dream. As a side note, if you struggle with anxiety and stress in your in your daily life, oh, like, yeah. this would be like the perfect destination to come to, wouldn't it? Like, oh, 100%. Even by yourself, just to get away from it, it'd be perfect. Yeah. So you'll notice as you're like walking around the forest, there are different types of eggs. Yeah, you get some that have like the kind of milkiness to them, mm. and then you get some that look like they've just taken like a galaxy and put it in an egg. Yeah. Like they look a bit more intricate details in the middle, like they're personally my favourites. It, yeah. lo it looks super cool. And you kind of like yeah. want to take one home and use it as like a, a oh, mood yeah. night lamp. <laughs> yeah, you, you could literally, you feel like you could just chip a little bit off. Yeah and that will just go perfect <laughs> just next year. Um, but yeah, when we first went, we didn't realise the difference. Like, I thought they were practically the same. So, yeah. it's something to look out for, isn't it? Oh, 100%, yeah, because it makes you appreciate it when you're there yeah. too. I think the name of them, you can find that all the names of the, of the artworks on the website. Um, these in particular are called Resonating Microcosms in the Common Camellia Garden, Liquefied or Solidified Light Colour, Sunrise and Sunset. That is a long name, okay? Yeah, that's a little bit much. I'm, <laughs> I'm so confused. It took me so long to say that. Like, mate, why, <laughs> why don't you just say it's lights and eggs? Just, I would call it light egg. Yeah, like that. <laughs> and there's also the lanterns. They look like Chinese lanterns anyway. Do you know from Genshin Impact? Oh, I don't yeah. know why it reminds me of that. And there's also the bigger eggs. They kind of look like giant egg timers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're absolutely huge. And yeah. like at the same point, they do encourage you to like walk through them to yeah. slightly move them out of the way because they're weighted anyway. They're just yeah. going to go back. You could get some really good Instagram posts on there, couldn't you? Instagram no. videos and things. <laughs> you most certainly try. I'll tell you I did, that. I did. I tried too hard. <laughs> so there's tons of different artworks. And as Luca said earlier, like they change all the time. So it's, it's something to look out for, what you want to see. What was your favourite bit, actually, out of the whole thing? Do you have a favourite bit? My favourite bit, to be fair, was the lanterns in the lake, if you can yeah, call them lanterns. that was mine. Like, it's not what I expected. I expected the eggs to be my favourite part, but I think this, the lanterns are, like, the most romantic spot yeah. of the whole place, yeah. I'd say. Yeah, 100%. It's the reflections of the water yeah. as well. Yeah, and then with the change, like... Yeah, it, it, there was just the something colours. really, like, hypnotic about it. Yeah. Just so you guys know, you can also download the Team Lab app for a guide on each of the artworks and you can get more details from it. You yeah. can get the tickets from the website, but I went on Clue because it was um, recommended online for like the certain deals you can get for a little bit of a discount. For example, there's like a Clue Pass Osaka and you can get it for under £22 and you get to see the Team Lab experience, but you can also have six more attractions on top of that. So it's something to keep in mind. You can always look on Clue and get yeah. maybe get a deal if you're thinking of doing certain things that in your itinerary anyway yeah, it might be worth it saving, yeah. so something to keep in mind overall a great experience would you do it again highly yeah I'd, i would highly recommend it yeah so that's it for today's video see you on the next yeah we'll see you next time Matane, bye bye peace